before there was a stadium, before there was a coach, before any of this happened, like there was a group of people that was already passionate about bringing soccer to Austin. Being a soccer player myself, I knew that thousands of players, men's, women, co-ed, embraced the game of soccer. It started just with a few of us, but little did we know that there was thousands and thousands and thousands of us that thought the same way that Austin, Texas is a, is a soccer city. Austin FC is a reality. It will now be the 27th club to join MLS. With the pandemic, there was a lot of challenges that came with it. And we always had that fear that the season could be postponed. I don't even think people were ready for it. I think there was a large part of this town that had no idea. Like whatever this was, I was gonna support it. What happened that I didn't expect is for me to like genuinely fall in love. I mean, every game is, is it's amazing. It, it doesn't matter win, lose, or tie. It's gonna be a draw or we're gonna win. There was just so much excitement and uncertainty. Another match and another loss for Austin FC. What is happening? Uh, you guys showed up no matter what game it was, but at the end of the day, you guys didn't quit, we didn't quit, and I think that's what made this special. Our environment can improve and grow and be more world-class over time, but for me, it's already the best experiences I've had watching sport. It's on fire. It's the best. The only reason we can play the full 90 every single game is because we get so much energy fed back to us. 90 minutes feels like five. I mean, that's that's how I feel. As soon as it's over, you just want to do it again. For me, it's the best in MLS. All of my friends that came to Q2 and played there all looked at me after the game and they were like, wow, like this is, this is something special.